Alrighty, so this video is going to cover how to properly insert a missed visit into the HCNet system. So once you log into your HCNet, you'll come to a home screen similar to this. What you're going to want to do is go up here to visits, click on visits, and then in the drop down menu, go ahead and click on the visits tab here. And let's just say this is our patient um, that we had already pulled up earlier that we we're going to be entering a missed visit for. Obviously, if this was not your patient, you would just go ahead and go up here into the patient search and search them by their name. But let's say we need to uh, enter a missed visit for this patient. So what you're going to want to do is go over here to actual visit, insert new note. So if you're putting in a missed visit, this is the one you're going to want to do. Um, because if you're building from the last, oftentimes you've either completed an evaluation or you've seen them for a regular visit and that's going to kind of auto-populate everything in that note from the previous visit. But since this is a missed visit, you aren't doing your home exercise program, you aren't taking their vitals, you aren't uh, trying to reach goals and things like that. So you're going to want to leave that note blank, basically, uh, besides just a few things. So you're going to go ahead and click on actual visit, insert new note. Once again, this message is popping up for me because uh, this isn't a real patient, but this shouldn't pop up on your screen. You'll want to make sure your visit date is correct here so you can change accordingly. For the missed visits, I just always go ahead and click on 1 p.m. in and 1 p.m. out. And then on visit code, instead of regular, you're going to scroll down and click on missed visit. And then you'll continue to scroll down. You'll still have to select that no VAC applied this visit. We'll go ahead and click or skip this status section for now. We can leave this uh, section blank as well as far as the vitals go because we weren't taking vitals this time. We can leave supplies as is. And all we need to get, do is scroll down to this medical necessity and homebound review section. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in here, since I'm a physical therapist, PT missed visit due to patient not feeling well. So you'll kind of put just a little narrative in there as to why the visit was missed. Uh, you're always going to want to have it be patient driven, uh, patient not feeling well, well uh, patient scheduling conflict with multiple other doctor's appointments or something like that. And then you'll go ahead and what we're going to do here is actually we're going to go ahead and copy this. So I'll copy this here and then I'll just scroll back up underneath the status section so I've I uh, completed the missed visit section, so I'll go ahead and hit note is complete, and then I'll scroll up here and uh, hit insert visit. Once again, I'm getting this message here, but you won't see that. You should see that uh, visit was successfully inserted. Then what we're going to want to do is go back to visits and clinician and patient search. We'll be back still on our same patient here, Shanta Dixon. I'm going to go ahead and click on verbal orders now, and then add new verbal order. This screen will pop up here. I'm going to go ahead and click PT missed visit because I'm a physical therapist. I'm going to want to make sure that my name's here and that the doctor's name is here as well. And then you have the uh, communication date and time, order date and time, and then date patient was informed of changes. So those are all going to want to be the same and going to want to be the correct date there. All I'm going to do here is just take this out and I'm going to paste in what I put in uh, on the actual note itself. So I just copied and pasted that into the communication section and into the order section. And then I'm just going to hit add update verbal order. And then that's there. So that's great. I put in the missed visit note and then I put in the verbal order. The only thing I need to do next is just hit email to office and team. So that's going to email that to the office and anyone else that is on the team treating the patient, whether that be the nurse or other therapists. And then you've successfully put in both your missed visit note and your verbal order explaining why the visit was missed. And that is that. Okay, thanks.